Hi everyone! In this video I want to take you through the steps of setting up a very basic ensemble with DBZ Mate in Cubase from scratch. We'll go through the whole process and we'll talk about the main pitfalls and some useful tips along the way. With up to 32 parts and 16 channels each, you can set up quite complex ensembles and templates. But just to keep it simple, for this video I will focus on a string quartet. However, the same principles can be used for much larger ensembles as well. So let's not waste any time and get right to it. I'm running Cubase 10 here and I have TVs made running at the same time already. If you are on Mac, make sure that you start DVZMate before you start Cubase, so Cubase will definitely recognize the ports. I will start from a completely blank project. The classic string quartet consists of two violins, a viola and a cello, so I'll first add two violins, a viola and a cello to this project. I'm using the Swarm instruments by Audio Modeling here, but you can use any other virtual instrument here as well. The Swarm Cello by default is sounding an octave lower than played and we want all instruments to sound at the note that we play on the keyboard. So I transpose it an octave up to fix this. I'm also going to rename these tracks real quick. Next we go over to the inspector for each track and select a Divisi Mate port as input. The first violin will have port 1 the second violin part 2, and viola part 3, and the cello part 4. Now we go to Divisimate. Here are a few small things to get started. Before Divisimate can do anything, you need to enable input devices on the settings page. In my case, this is the MIDI input from my Fireface. Now when I press notes on my keyboard, I can see it on the keyboard display in Divisimate. I also want to activate my breath controller, and here we run into something that has come up multiple times now as a support question. I cannot activate the breath controller since it is already in use in another application and it can't be used by more than one application at a time. Unfortunately, this is out of our control since this is just how many USB MIDI drivers work. So what I need to do is go to Cubase into the studio setup, MIDI parts and exclude the breath controller from the all MIDI input sum. As you see, it now shows the breath controller as inactive and I can now go and activate it in Divisimate. If you're a Mac user, you can ignore this whole bit. This is just one of the fun things Windows users get to deal with from time to time. Now that the inputs are activated, I see Divisimate getting notes, but I still don't hear any sound. This is due to the fact that there are no routings on the orchestrate page yet. I've connected my quartet to Divisimate port 124, so for every instrument to get a different note, I need to activate four voices here and route these voices to the ports. The lowest voice number 4 goes to the cello on port 4, next highest to the viola and the upper two to the violins. Again, to keep a good overview, I'm putting in the names of the instruments here. Now I can record enable my tracks in Cubase and play my quartet with my breath controller and my keyboard. Now these instruments are lovely, but they are really dry, so I will create a group to put on some quick and dirty reverb. I'm just gonna use the Northwest Hall from Quantum Leap Spaces real quick. That's just personal preference. And just for good measure, let's pan the instruments a bit to the sides to get a more transparent stereo image. So there we go. We essentially have everything set up to compose, arrange and perform the string quartet with Divisimate. Now let's put all this to use. With the current routing I can play all four instruments of the quartet with four note chords and voicings. I'll save this as a preset. I'm using the shortcut Ctrl S or Command S on Mac for that and I'm gonna call it quartet four part. Now let's lay down a little bit of music with this orchestration. As you can see, every instrument has its own part recorded and the controls from my breath controllers were mirrored on all the tracks. Next, I want to keep this chord pattern going, but free up the first violin to play a little melody. 
so I'll set the VZMA to three voices and route them to the lower three instruments. Now I play just second violin, viola and cello. Let's save this as another preset. You see, even though the track was record enabled, there are no notes or controllers sent to the first violin. Now for the violin melody, I don't need DVs made at all, I just want to record this on top the way I usually play the instrument. So I can set DVs made to bypass, only record enable the first violin and play in my melody as if DVs made was not even there. It is just simply acting as a merger for my keyboard and breath controller. The next thing I want to do is to bring multiple layers into the arrangement, with arpeggios played by the viola, a slow bass line by the cello, while the violins play the melody a sixth apart. That would be too much going on for me to play this in one clean take, so I split it up instead and take the cello and viola first. I set Divisime to two voices and route the cello and the viola. Now I can play two notes at a time and the lowest one will go to the cello. Let's again save this as a preset. With just two active voices, when the cello is playing a long note, the viola can actually be very agile without screwing with the Divisio engine. This way you can also play a nice duet with very accurate voice splitting. And now let's do the same thing with the two violins and save it as a preset. I will record this on top of my previous take and it will leave the cello and viola unaffected. This way I can put together my full arrangement from multiple smaller orchestrations in Divisimate. And now here's the thing, since I saved these combinations and voicings as their own presets, I can assign them to the perform page now to quickly have them ready and reuse them. Since this is most likely not the last time I use these combinations, that will save me time the next time I want to write something for string quartet. And while I work with it, I will create more orchestrations that I can file away for later and speed up my work by having them as shortcuts. For now, I will go back to my full four-part quartet and play a fitting end to this little piece. I hope this video has been helpful to you as an introduction to working with Divisimate in Cubase. Of course there are many other and more complex things that you can set up with the software and we do get into that in other videos on this channel.
So check these out and also make sure to subscribe to this channel to stay up to date about new features, workflow tips and templates. Thank you all for watching and see you the next time.